हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड नाउ से इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सॉ फ्रॉम आवर वे बेटी ओके फ्रॉम आवर वे बेटी वॉट वी सॉ ये वी सॉ विद एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर फोर ओके कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर फाइव वी रिमूव हाइड्रिडाइजेशन फर्स्ट वे वॉट रोड आयो बी एस एन एम देन वी रिमूव ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर देन वी रोड वॉट नॉर्मल वॉट एवर आउटर मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन ओके इन थ्री डे सबसेल फोर एस फोर पी फोर डे सबसेल अकॉर्डिंग टू वॉट वॉट एवर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ अवर लिगेंट्स ठीक है then we removed what magnetic movement also magnetic behavior their structure geometry understood so all about this everything is important for whenever we are discussing coordination complexes okay now it's time in our today's lecture we have to see with coordination number 6 ओके सीयर कोऑर्डिनेशन कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर सिक्स ओके सो सीयर इन कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर सिक्स वी विल सी फर्स्ट अवर एग्जांपल सो बेटा राइट डाउन दैट एग्जांपल ठीक है सी एफ Yes, एफ ई सी एन सिक्स एफ ई सी एन सिक्स फोर माइनस ओके नाउ वी विल राइट हियर फर्स्ट आई यू पी सी नेम आई यू पी सी नेम ऑफ दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स तो वॉट विल बी द आई यू पी सी नेम ये सिट इज एन आइन पार्ट ठीक है so for iups name as you know first we are writing name of ligand then what will come yes hexa cyano yes it is an iron therefore your iron name will change what for it so hexa cyano for it okay so as you know what will be the oxidation number of your iron yes 2 so hexacyano for a second ion okay understood hexacyano for a second ion theek okay. hai now we will say means from this data we will conclude that whatever iron is in your plus 2 oxidation state ठीक है प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट सो वी विल राइट हियर फॉर आयरन यस एज यू नो बेटा आयरन व्हाट आयरन एटॉमिक नंबर 26 व्हाट बेटा 3d6 4s2 सो व्हेन एवर वी आर राइटिंग नॉर्मल आयरन ठीक है सो इन दैट सी एज लाइक दिस 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 Five six. Okay, it is your three D subshell. Now what, beta? Four S two. We can show here as a four P M T. Okay. Understood? Why we are taking as a M T? Because we need for what further hybridization. Because it depends on number of ligands. ठीक है नाउ से इयर व्हाट विल हैपन ऑफ दिस से योर थ्री डी सिक्स फोर इज टू ठीक है नाउ हियर व्हाट विल हैपन फॉर एफ ई टू प्लस वी हैव टू मेंशन व्हाट बेटा फॉर एफ ई टू प्लस से एफ ई टू प्लस हाउ वी कैन राइट येस वॉट एवर दिस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल गोज आउट 
because if you two plus so two electrons will lose as like this so see here first time writing of one two three four five and here what yes six three d six and four is empty and here your what four p also empty understood i hope you understood this now what will happen here see first to concentrate on what your ligands yes ligand is what your cn minus and as you know cn minus is what strong field ligand cn minus is what strong field ligand okay now here due to strong field ligand it has a tendency to pair it up okay it has a tendency to pair it up so what will happen like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 total means for this electron goes here this electron goes here so final we can rewrite for if a2 plus so say like this if a2 plus okay as like this we can rewrite 1 2 3 4 5 6 Okay, and this what beta here empty now. Whatever your four is and four p subshell. Now we have to fill this ligands vacuum. Okay, ligands will take. Will ligands will occupy vacuum or vital? Okay. So see as like this here one c n c n. C N T K one two three four five and what beta six as like this our what will be the hybridization here? Okay, what will be the hybridization? Yes, beta here what he did your D subshell means D two. S and total what P three. Therefore, we are writing togetherly as a D two S P three. And whatever geometry, as you know, geometry is what octahedral. Okay. Now you tell me what about yes about magnetic behavior. Okay. For magnetic behavior, regarding magnetic behavior, what all are paired? Therefore, it is diamagnetic. Understood? Okay. And magnetic movement, what will come? There is nothing magnetic movement because here mu is equal to what zero because there is no unpaired electrons. Understood? Magnetic moment depends on unpaired electrons only. Okay. So here you got your hybridization. Okay. Now one of the most important part. Okay. Regarding your such type of complexes. So pay attention. Okay. See. This one, beta. Here we can one more, uh, uh, one more way we can represent whatever your this complexes. Okay, so see we can call it as a that complexes as a inner orbital complexes. What beta? Inner orbital complexes. So inner orbital complexes. These are what low spin complexes. Okay, these two things you have to keep in mind for regarding your this. Okay, see inner orbital complex. Why it is inner orbital complex? Because say they use D subshell. N minus one D subshell they use. 
therefore we can call it as the inner orbital complex okay and inner orbital complexes these are what low spin complexes i hope you understood this our first okay now we will discuss here next example so uh, pay attention on next example tk so see here pay attention on next example with uh, coordination number yes with coordination number 6 theek hai see with the coordination number 6 see you can write second example theek hai second example write down co f6 3 minus what beta co f6 3 minus so what will happen first we can write here iupc name that is we can call it as a what inorganic iupc name of coordination complex or coordination compound okay so what will be the iupc name here yes hexa okay so here first stage what small letter hexa fluorido hexa fluorido it is what anionic part so what beta cobaltate hexa fluorido cobaltate third ion i hope you understood hexa fluorido cobaltate because it is an ion third ion so see we can calculate easily oxidation number also okay as you know this thing regarding calculation of oxidation number okay now see here what will happen as you know cobalt what will be the outermost electron configuration is 3d7 4s2 okay so cobalt in normal what will what we can write as a, like this say 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 3d7 tk then here what 4s2 and here what beta 4p we can write as mt and we have to mention okay 4d as a mt 4d also as a mt theek hai now see what will happen next the cobalt oxidation number is what 3 plus so we have to write for that like this okay so see here as like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now what will happen yes 3 plus means this two and this one electron will goes out so we can write as a what 3d6 okay CO3 plus means what? This two electron and one electron will goes out from this outermost electron configuration, and you will get what? 3D6 subshell, and here what? 4A as a zero, 4P also your MT already, and 4D we have to take also what beta? MT only. you may need for further hybridization that all that uh, purpose we keep as a empty whatever your 4d subshell theek okay. hai now see here now we have to check what whether your ligand is strong field or weak field okay so see here 
what beta what will you conclude what about your previous knowledge what you uh, means how i up to what extent you saw previous lectures okay depending on you will get idea regarding this fluorine okay okay now you tell me yes your fluorine is what whatever your f minus is what weak field ligand so due to this weak field ligand there is nothing will change because it does not have a tendency to pairing up electrons therefore it will remain as it is understood okay now on the base of this you will get hybridization mode so whatever you can rewrite this also again or whenever weak field again both are remain as it is whatever uh, regarding your co3 plus they will te tasas rahnar hai okay tumhi parat lihla tari pan chalel ani tumhi hybridization vacant orbital what field dhale dakhole tari chalel okay so see here how many total these are six so one here f f minus another third fourth fifth and sixth so what you will get hybridization yes beta s p3 and what d2 okay geometry is what yes geometry is what octahedral as you know for d2 sp3 and sp3 d2 hybridization okay i hope you understood this thing okay now you tell me what about your magnetic behavior yes magnetic behavior magnetic behavior is what unpaired electrons are there therefore what para magnetic and you can calculate beta magnetic moment also so magnetic moment is what mu is equal to under root n n plus 2 where where n is what number of unpaired electrons how many these are four so with the help of here now you have to do the calculation of this 4 4 plus 2 okay you will get answer immediately take okay. a understood so you have to write this you have to calculate magnetic moment understood now we will discuss beta here another okay so pay attention on that see third we will say example okay so concentrate on this example third theek okay. hai so see third example also in the third example suppose beta i will write uh say in third example we will take see mn mn cn6 theek hai 4 minus mn cn6 4 minus theek hai now here also you must know everything what what will be the iupac name beta yes your mn cn6 4 minus okay see hexa sino yes beta hexa sino what will happen these are anionic part therefore name what your magnetic center metal atom name will change magnet like this magnet second ion okay second ion okay now see here 
what will happen uh, regarding this reg uh, regarding your mn cn6 4 minus so as you know here your normal mn okay yes normal mn atomic number 25 outermost electronic configuration is what 3d5 4s2 okay now see here regarding your what for normal mn you can write as a say 3d5 okay 3d5 1 2 3 4 5 4s2 yes 3d5 4s2 take a 4p your empty and whatever your 4d is what yes 4d is also what empty now for mn2 plus what we can write for mn2 plus you can write like this take a see so mn2 plus your these two electrons will goes out now what will remain on the one two three four and five this your 4s is empty okay here 4p is what also empty and here whatever your 4d is what also empty now now see here okay now concentrate on, on what cn minus cn minus is what strong field again so it has a tendency to paired up okay it has a tendency to paired up so what will come better suppose it has a tendency to paired up then regarding your yes so it will paired up then what you will get yes you will get like this mn2 plus okay say 1 2 3 4 5 as like this okay see 1 2 3 4 and what 5 now this will empty your 4 is 4 p and 4 d also you can write okay now your total ligands how much six are there so total ligands how much the total ligands are six so see here one here cn minus here another here cn minus one two three four and five so what will happen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 ligands are there. Take a. It will occupy vacant D orbital. Whatever vacant D, S, N, P or subshell. Okay. Now you will get here hybridization what? Yes, hybridization you will get what? D2. D2, 1, S and P3. Togetherly we can write as a what? D2, S, P3. Okay. So these are also what? Inner orbital complex. You have to write in your notebook. Inner orbital complex. Low spin complex. Okay. You can calculate magnetic movement, magnetic behavior, what will come? Yes, paramagnetic. So, beta, you have to mention here, understood, regarding your this, what? Regarding your this example, that is, hexacyanomagnet second iron. Hexacyanomagnet second iron. Okay, now we will discuss beta fourth example. See, fourth example we will discuss here. 
say write down that example here fourth example say fourth example if we h2o 6 3 plus if we h2o 6 3 plus ठीक है regarding your fe what will happen see here first we will write iupac name okay suppose if you are writing the iupac name as you know it is what a tonic part so see here hexa equa hexa equa iron एक्वायरन वॉट आयन थर्ड आयन बिकॉज एज यू नो दे ऑन वॉटर देर इज अ नो चार्ज अंडरस्टूड न्यूट्रल इट इज दैट्स वाय आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस थिंग वॉट एवर आई बी से नॉमिन क्लचर पार्ट ऑल्सो यू रिवाइज रिमो नोट्स यू आर मीन्स कंसिस्टेंटली यू आर डूइंग प्रैक्टिस एन सी आर टी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वॉट एवर फ्रॉम रेफरेंस बुक्स प्रॉब्लम्स यू आर स्टडिंग ओके यू आर सॉल्विंग दैट ठीक है now what yes as you know iron is what third so what will be the outermost electronic configuration yes 3d7 4s2 okay sorry 3d6 4s2 for iron because atomic number is what 26 outermost electronic configuration what 3d6 4s2 so beta first uh, we will write for your normal iron so see here concentrate on your normal iron see 1 2 3 4 5 total blocks yes 3d6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 3d6 here here what beta 4s2 okay your 4p mt and you have to mention beta as a your 4d also mt okay ठीक है नाउ सी फोर पी ऑल सेम टी फोर डी ऑल सेम टी नाउ वी हैव टू राइट फॉर एफ ई थ्री प्लस सो वी कैन के सी वॉट विल हैपन वेन वे विल डू फॉर एफ ई थ्री प्लस ठीक है सो राइट डाउन दैट ऑल्सो बेटा हियर some student they already may done this thing 3 plus so what will happen okay 3d6 1 2 3 4 5 3d5 and here what 4s is your empty because for your iron 3 plus this two electron will goes out and this one electron will goes out because of your fe3 plus okay and your here beta 4p also empty 4d we have to mention here as a empty tk now see what will happen regarding this okay 3d 5 4s 4p and 4d now we have to concentrate on your this water yes beta as you know water is what weak field again yes water is weak field again so here uh, you have to concentrate means uh, whatever uh, as you know i already discuss means your cobalt cn okay these are what frequently they will ask your ammonia also water if these are only frequently okay so you have to je kahi lakshat thevnasadi evda kai kathin nahi hai theek hai 
you can easy memorize whichever strong field frequently asked whichever weak field ligands frequently asked okay so see as you know here water is what weak field so there is a chances of pairing no because it don't have tendency to pair up electrons okay so this will remain as it is now your ligands what it it will what now taking this vacant orbitals okay so see how many is there six so as like this you can rewrite again no issues one water then another yes third fourth fifth and here what six so what you will get here hybridization of your this complex that is s one is p3 d2 so what your sp3 d2 sp3 d2 geometry is what as you know octahedral theek hai magnetic behavior is what yes paramagnetic you can calculate your magnetic moment each and every student you have to write in your notebook whatever magnetic behavior in your notebook magnetic moment their geometry now you tell me it is in orbital complex or outer orbital complex okay what beta yes very good neither what outer orbital complex because they they not use the disruption they use outer therefore these are what outer orbital complex and outer orbital complex wo kya hote hai outer orbital complex is r what beta high spin complexes high spin complexes so remarkable statement okay ठीक है अंडरस्टूड सो यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन ऑन दिस पार्ट आउटर और बाइडल कॉम्प्लेक्स मीन जनरली सपोज सी इयर जनरली वॉट विल हैपन स्ट्रॉन्ग फील्ड लिखे एंड्स आर देयर दीज आर वॉट इनर और बाइडल कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड दीज आर वॉट लो स्पेन Okay, and outer or means weak field ligands. These are what generally or outer orbital complex, and these are what high spin complexes. So you have to keep in mind these statements. Okay, understood. Now we will see. Now we will discuss one of the remarkable nature. Okay. one of the what beta A remarkable nature regarding your yes regarding your what behavior of ammonia for some complexes when ammonia is there as a ligand in some metal complexes so how ammonia will behave so it is a very much important part remarkable concept we can say you okay i hope you understood this all content theek hai see so you have to write here what you have to write say behavior of ammonia सग नोटबुक मध्य जेवड मी का संगत है ठीक है मीन्स हाउ स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ वी आर ड्रॉइंग द कैलक्युलेटिंग हाइब्रिडाइजेशन देन कैलक्युलेटिंग ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर वी आर राइटिंग नेम ऑल्सो ठीक है so each and every student they must write in your notebook 
ओके एंड ड्यूरिंग मिस आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग योर लेक्चर यू कैन सेंड स्नैप्स आल्सो ओके फॉर चेकिंग एंड अश्योर and uh, you have to in middle also you can ask your doubts you can share your doubts okay on whatsapp on personal chat theek okay. hai so you can mention here beta yes say behavior of ammonia behavior of Ammonia. Behavior of ammonia. ठीक है So see here, what will happen in the behavior of ammonia. So whatever I am writing here, uh, that you have to write in your notebook. And whatever each and every sentence, each and every word you have to capture, and you have to save it to your memory. because it is very much important these all topics okay theek okay. hai means one by one you have to clear topics with all uh, concepts sub concepts with questions and answers theek okay. hai so see for coordination number for coordination number Four. For when your coordination number four with respect to ammonia as a ligand in your complex, okay. So at that time, it acts as a, it behaves as a always. It behaves as a always what weak field ligand. वेट फील्ड लिख गए ठीक है वेन कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर फोर वेन कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर फोर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सेंट्रल मेटल आइटम एट दैट टाइम योर अमोनिया इज बिहेविंग एज अलवेज वेक फील्ड लिख गए ठीक है नाउ सी वेन योर कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर सिक्स so when your coordination number 6 we can divide it in further two types when plus 2 oxidation number is there okay so here when beta plus 2 oxidation number is there plus 2 oxidation number is there at that time your ammonia is act as a, your at that time your ammonia is act as a what always weak failed ligand theek okay. hai and in some cases when your coordination number 6 with respect to central metal atom okay when your coordination number 6 and at that time your plus 3 oxidation number is there plus 3 oxidation number is there theek okay. hai understood when plus 3 oxidation number state is there so at that time your ammonia is always yes strong field ligand strong field ligand okay now this what this all data okay see here this all data for 3D series. These are applicable when for 3D series. Now you have to mention here for. Okay, you have to mention beta here for 4D and 5D series. For 4D and 5D series, a 
harmonia is always behaves as a wall strong field again okay you can mention here for or you can write downside also for 4d and for 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 4d or 5d series ammonia is acts as a strong field ligand box kara kai kara box kara theek hai so you have to write this all information very much important information regarding your what behavior of ammonia for 3d series four coordination number always weak field again for coordination number 6 plus two oxidation number state is there always weak field but plus 3 always strong field ligand so beta here we will explain we will see some examples okay so pay attention beta here see in our behavior of what ammonia see suppose first we will discuss the example of so write down that example ni yes see Ni NH3 Ni NH3 four two plus now here NH3 four means four coordination number with respect to the center metal atom. So what will be here? Your behavior of ammonia is as a weak field ligand. So here as you know nickel oxidation number is what? Plus two, you can write here IUPAC name. So what will happen, beta? What will happen here for your nickel? Nickel, yes, as you know, nickel what? Three D eight and four H two. Now for normal nickel, you can mention as like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three D eight. Here what beta? Four H two as like this. Four P you keep as empty. Now nickel plus two. You can rewrite again. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these two electrons will go out because because of this plus two charge. So now here also your empty. Yes, your four p empty. Take a. Now as you know, these are what your weak field again. So there is a no tendency to pair up. So what you will get? You will get simply total four are there. So one ammonia, 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 and here also what ammonia. Okay, togetherly you will get what sp3 hybridization. So for sp3 hybridization, what will be the geometry? A yes, tetrahedral. Okay. You can calculate the magnetic behavior, magnetic moment. Okay, understood this example of your NiNH3 two plus. We saw I think CuNH3 four two plus also exceptional case. Okay. It is actually sp3, but experimentally they are coming what dsp2, and Huggins 
it proved it proposed for explaining this hybridization what is p2d but it did also some uh, what we can say as a for regarding this cu nh3 4 2 plus okay first coming is p3 then coming dsp2 but again explain what is p2d <laughs> we can say as a uh, weakness of pvt theory okay weakness of pvt theory means exceptional case these are tumhala fakt maiti okay as a information you can keep in mind this cns342 except no totally exceptional case okay now see here we will discuss beta another example so can you ready say another example see here co nh3 6 3 plus what beta co nh3 6 yes co nh3 6 here what 3 plus you can write iopc name you have to write Okay, you have to remove, you have to go step by step in your notebook. Okay, you have to what? Follow these steps. First IUPC name, then we have to remove what? Then we have to remove oxidation number. Okay, now what will be the your cobalt? Yes, beta atomic number 27, 3D7, 4S2. So cobalt, what will be the charge on this cobalt? S plus 3. So normal your cobalt like this. See. Okay. 3D7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here what? Yes, 4S2. You can mention as a... Yes, 4 P M T. Okay, 4 H2. We have to draw here. Then for CO3 plus because here in this complex, how much charge on your copper is 3 plus? So as like this, say. So 3D7 means what? Two electron here from here and one from here. So total three means 3D6. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. 3D6. 4S is your empty. Yes or no? 4P also your empty. Now you have to concentrate on ammonia and say behavior of ammonia you have to revise behavior of ammonia here okay now what will happen when we saw the behavior of ammonia at that time when coordination number six oxidation number plus three at that time you have to what yes you have to your ammonia is behaved as a what beta? Strong field again. Strong field again. So here paired up. So we can write further. You have to write further. TK like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this will go. Here this will go here now because you're here ammonia is what ammonia is strong field again that's why 4s is your empty tk 4p also your empty then what you will get hybridization here yes here ammonia okay here also ammonia one two three 4 
ओके फोर फाइव एंड वॉट बेटा सिक्स ठीक है सो कुल मिला के आपका हाइब्रिडाइजेशन क्या हुआ डी टू वन एस एंड पी थ्री डी टू एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑक्टा हाइड्रल जोमेट्री यू कैन कैलकुलेट व्हाट माइनेटिक बिहेवियर माइनेटिक मूवमेंट आल्सो ओके ठीक है so these are what beta regarding your coordination number 6 we saw uh, so many examples uh, we discuss coordination number 4 coordination number 5 coordination number 6 all are important you have to keep in mind is okay theek okay. hai see here now we have to discuss or uh, as a homework you can take one and you have to solve this and that we will discuss in our doubt session okay so see easy you can solve easily okay so pay attention as the third now as you know how much uh, space you have to leave for that each and every what habitation so you you have you can write as a homework ni nh3 6 2 plus you have to write complete habitation the uh, with ibc name charge their magnetic moment magnetic behavior whether it is uh, outer orbit inner orbit low or high speed all everything you have to mention and you have to share snap of that on personal chart theek okay? hai so here we will discuss in from this vbt last part that is limitations of vbt limitations of what vbt valence bond theory so limitations are there okay so it does not give quantitative interpretation what beta it does not give quantitative interpretation it does not give quantitative interpretation okay or we can say it does not explain thermodynamic or kinetic stability it does not explain thermodynamic or we can say kinetic stabilities of coordination compounds theek okay. hai now that does not explain color exhibited by coordination compound the does not explain color exhibited by coordination compounds so theek okay. hai so these are what other also there but these are what most important okay so many are there limitations of vbt okay so here we completed our uh, two main parts regarding bonding in coordination compound first is what our warner's coordination theory then next is what valence bond theory now from next lecture we will see the next theory that is crystal field theory okay so i hope you understood this all clearly neatly and also you wrote in notebook neatly clearly if any doubts will come you can share
एट एनी टाइम सो थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर एंड स्टे सेफ